What's up guys, how's it going? My name is Lars, and welcome to another Kingdom Hearts EU Cross video. So guys, we got a small PvP change this morning, and... Well, I'm gonna let you guys decide as to whether or not you are comfortable with this change, because me, personally, I'm not a fan of it, and I feel like this is going to make the game a whole lot worse, and it will only focus on just a handful of players who are typically in the top 50 area, mainly top 10, but I kind of say 50 because sometimes players that are in top 50 do manage to get into top 10. But we're going to go ahead and talk about it, guys, because in my opinion, it's a very bad update, only because they could have adjusted some other things related to this. So, uh, as always, shout out to Roboloid for allowing me to use uh, his translations in my update video. You can always find him on Discord or on Twitter at Roboloid. So, the PvP update. What was it that they changed this morning? So, uh, before I start that off, the PvP Keyblades for this week, since uh, I know uh, I'm probably going to get like a bunch of comments asking about that, it's going to be Treasure Trove, Sleeping Lion, and Fantasy Notes, aka Counterpoint. So, uh, yeah, for all my global players out there, get prepared because those are going to be your Keyblades starting tomorrow. But anyways, with this update, PvP has been modified. Now you can fight in a match for 7 minutes max instead of 5 minutes. And note that if it's a 1 blade PvP week, the time limit is still 5 minutes. If there's more than 1 blade in rotation, it's 7 minutes. So, you would think at the beginning when you hear that like, oh okay, so fights get extended and whatnot. Okay, I don't think it really affects me because most of the time my matches don't really take 5 minutes. My, I think my matches uh, for whenever I do fights it usually lasts about maybe three to four minutes So I don't think I've ever reached the five minute time mark, but here's the thing Seeing as how a lot of players during the last hour of PvP before PvP reset They tend to stay in battle so that that way no players who have a po who have that possibility or are pretty much guaranteed to defeat that player that is holding up another player by waiting five minutes into that match so that that player that they're holding up is pretty much screwed and not have the opportunity to be able to uh, fight any other players and attempt to get a better ranking is something that we have been wanting to be fixed for the longest time. And I made a recommendation so that that way people won't waste their time with uh, the loading times and also making sure that if a player is attacking you that we somehow get a notification but my recommendation to kind of fix that would be to whenever you are searching for a player to fight against there there should be like a little light like kind of like a green light and a red light the green light saying that hey this player is not actually fighting in this match go ahead and see if you can take their rank away the red light would mean that hey this player is either uh, being attacked or somebody or the player itself is actually attacking somebody else I feel like they should implement that system so that that way we don't have to waste those precious minutes those precious seconds during that last hour before PvP reset and waste all that time because you know everybody knows in JP and in global that the final hour is always 100% crazy it's ridiculous so much loading times you know we're trying to get the best ranking it's it's insane and nobody likes it but with them changing it to seven minutes i can see the reason why they did it and i'll explain it here in a second but changing it to seven minutes guys when you really think about it it is going to hurt a lot of players who are not in say top 100 top 500 whether you're in jp and global here's why because, again, like I mentioned earlier, with players who like to keep other players pretty much bounded for five minutes so that the player who is holding up that other player that they are supposedly attacking um, has to wait five minutes. Now that they are extending it to seven minutes, that is going to murder our time that we have during the last hour of before PvP reset, and it's just not going to benefit a lot of players and i'm not talking about just you know free to play or cheap to play because this is also going to be affecting whales because there are some whales out there that i know that i know for sure probably do that same dirty trick of holding other players off so that that way they won't get attacked i don't i've never 
myself personally, I've never done that. I know for sure that there have been players who have done that on me. And guys, it is super frustrating. And now that they extended this to seven minutes, it's not a good thing. And I really hope that hopefully the JP community who does speak Japan and I don't know, maybe has access to forums and whatnot that Square Enix does actually read. Hopefully they do report this. But the only players that benefit from this change would mainly be top 10. Here's why. One of my teammates, uh, her name is Pisces, and everybody knows her in Global and in JP. And Pisces, if you're watching this video, I hope you don't mind me using you, uh, using you as an example because uh, you mentioned this to the party, I think, a few weeks ago. But she was in top 10, guys. And with the recent release of the Super Burst or Supernova, whatever it is that you want to call it, um, it was making it difficult for her to advance in that top 10 ranking. Why? Because most of the players that are in top 10 most likely has over three, maybe two or three copies or even more than that of whatever metal, which at the beginning was Sephiroth EX, or excuse me, Supernova Sephiroth. Now that we have another metal that has the super burst supernova ability can you imagine at, can you imagine how long it would take for top 10 players to go through and cycle not just through the metals itself but but the amount of burst that they have to do over and over and over and i can see as to that reason alone is probably why they decided to extend the whole five minute mark to seven minutes and that in my opinion guys is very unfair to anybody who does not reach top 10 top 100 top 500 because if you're fighting somebody that that um that takes so long in a fight for all of their medals for all of their bursts you know super bursts etc etc to proc that is not a good thing for any other players yeah it helps them out a lot because that way they have an opportunity to advance in those 10 ranks and i'm not calling out the 10 i am not calling out any of the players in top 10 top 50 top 100 uh, excuse me top 100 etc etc i am not calling them out because this is not their fault this is mainly because of the brand new game mechanic that we just got recently which was the supernova super burst whatever it is that you want to call it again this kind of benefits them but to other players like say for myself it really does not and in my opinion it was a bad decision move on their end and, I, and again i know that they were trying to help out those players that did have fights longer than five minutes but the thing is though they are going to have to somehow adjust that so that either they can only put those fights within like say top top 10 maybe top 20 and then ev all the other matches aside from that would would stay at five minutes because again that is going to hurt a lot of players whenever a player is doing that cheesy move of holding up another player for not five minutes anymore but seven minutes so that's why i think this small little update in my opinion is a very bad change and i can only imagine how global players are going to feel when i start you know going through social media and all i see is some players that might be like oh okay this is not a bad pvp update but then there's some that's gonna be like what in the world did they just do so i'm curious to know what you guys think about this let me know in the comment section below do you approve of this time change for pvp matches let me know in the comment section below and also you know just give me give me your thoughts on it give me some detailed thoughts if there's anything that i missed in this video that you want to express as well in the comment section below definitely make sure to do that guys as always if you enjoyed this video and you would like to see some for more future cuts content make sure to smash that like and that make sure to smash that like button and subscribe it's been a long day guys i've only had like three hours of sleep but uh, yeah take care guys and i'll see you guys next time